by saying this. I was not planning to ever drive a Dodge Charger again or a Challenger or a Chrysler 300. And that was a decision that I made very shortly after my dad passed away suddenly in March of 2017. My dad had been a part of building those muscle cars at Brampton Assembly for as long as Brampton Assembly had been building them. And he was one year away from 30 years of service and from his own retirement when he passed away at the age of 64. There was just this huge upwelling of support that came from the plant after my dad passed from his coworkers, just reaching out to my family saying, we loved him so much and we're gonna miss him. He's been a part of our lives for so long. The plant stopped the line for a moment of silence uh, about three or four days after they learned of his passing. And I had his coworkers, my dad's coworkers reaching out to me saying, we've never heard of them doing this before. We can't believe how special this is and it's a wonderful tribute to your dad and he deserves it and then at his funeral a family member of ours who also works at the plant served as a pallbearer wearing his union jacket so there's this sense of solidarity that comes from inside the plant and this sense of community that is really not like every other workplace after he passed I was so touched by all of this and overwhelmed with the loss that I really had decided for myself that I could never bring myself to drive one of these cars again that I knew with certainty had not been touched by my dad's hands. That was until I found out that Branton Assembly is being shut down and retooled to build electric vehicles. The days of the muscle car at Branton Assembly are soon coming to an end. When that started to dawn on me and the last call editions began to be announced, I realized this would be my last chance to drive one of these cars that my dad had such a big part in building and these cars that created a comfortable and and happy middle class life for us as his family. And so I thought, well, I can't miss out on this chance and I'm fortunate to be a professional automotive journalist and reached out to my media contact at Stellantis Canada. His name is Brad Horn and Brad had known for years not to bother asking me if I wanted to drive a Charger or a Challenger because I would say no. And so I reached out to him and I said, hey, Brad, look, Brampton's not going to be building these. I probably should drive one one last time before they're done. And Brad came back and said, actually, I'm going to do you one better. And given your family's history with Brampton Assembly, I would like for you to be the one to spec out and build the final Dodge Charger that will ever be built for the Canadian media fleet. And so he's tasked me with putting together this Dodge Charger, and it's not just any Dodge Charger, it's a Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body jailbreak. And I'm gonna bring you with me. So come along, we're gonna spec out the car. You'll see what it's gonna look like when it's finished. We're gonna go inside Brampton Assembly and see the car actually roll off the final position of the assembly line. And I'll bring you along as I see the car complete and sit down at it and hit the button to start up that almighty roar for the final time in a Dodge Charger. I've driven hundreds of cars in my career, but this one is certain to be the most special. So come along and let's see how it goes. Okay, I've got, I'm in my home office. I've got a cat in my lap and I'm ready to build the 2023 Dodge Charger uh, jailbreak now. I'm just looking at, at the options here for the first time. You're gonna go, go through this option sheet with me. So that means the 6.2 liter supercharged V8. I think I'm gonna go purple. My very first car that I ever bought for myself was a, was a because my dad had the employee discount, it was a purple Dodge Neon, don't judge. It was, it was what I had to choose from at the time and it was purple. I have to choose what I wanna go on that. Do I want the stripes or do I want the hood, painted hood? This is such a difficult choice. Ah, the pressure, okay. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get to do this again, never. Like no one's ever gonna get to do this again with this car. The SRT option for the putting the, the satin on the hood scoop and the roof and the deck lid stripe is just enough, I think, for the purple. If you if you add more, it's too much. I could go with a low gloss black five spoke. What the heck? Let's do that. Yeah, those are better. Definitely the black spoiler. Black exhaust tips, yes. Now we're moving on to the interior. The standard black and gray is, is nice. I wonder about staining on the, the gray on the seats though. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd pick that for myself. Let me just try out the red here. 
Oh, and it offsets the red and the gauges. Yes. Yes. Oh, I hope there's an option for a red belt. There is an option for red belts. Yes, that's happening. Okay. Red floor mats, red belts, steering wheel, Alcantara with red. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. I do want a suede headliner and I do want a power sunroof. Let's take a look and use the, the graphics here to take a look at my interior. See if I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's happening. Powertrain's already picked. I think I'm good to go. This is so exciting. We're on our way now to Brampton Assembly. We're gonna get to see this car rolling down the line and being built, so that's a pretty cool thing. My dad spent almost 30 years of his life coming to this place for work, five, six, sometimes seven days a week. Started in the paint shop, ended in the door line, and just a very average middle-class career. He worked hard and honest work for honest pay, as they say. I've only ever been here once, actually. You'd think it would be more, but back when Chrysler bought the plant from AMC, it used to be an AMC plant, and moved all the employees from the old Jeep plant in South Brampton up to this plant, my dad was one of the ones that moved, and they had a big friends and family open house, and I haven't been there since. So it's a pretty locked down operation. They don't let people in here every day. To be honest with you, I'm emotional. This feels a little bit like going to a funeral. <laughs> It's mourning a lot of things, right? It's mourning the end of the muscle car era. It's mourning the end of gas cars being built at Brampton Assembly, a city that's really depended on this plant for a long time. And it's not that it's closing, it's retooling to be, build EVs, but it's a new start, it's a new era, it's a new time, right? But it's things changing and things being left behind. And the cars that my dad helped to build are not gonna be built there anymore, so. It's, it's heavy. I'm expecting it to be an emotional day. I'm here with Alex Pittis, the plant manager for Stellantis Brampton Assembly. And Alex, try to articulate the sense of ownership that people who work in this facility feel when they see a Charger or a Challenger out on the road, it's like, I, I had a part in that. Yeah, um, it still gives me goosebumps when I uh, walk down the final line and you know you hear the engine roar and it comes on, we've got 6.4 liter engines, yeah. 700, 800 horsepower coming right off the line, so it's an incredible feel. And then when you see them on the road, it's even better and it gives you a sense of pride and ownership. And you know, a lot of our folks, uh, drive these same cars, right? So um, they, they have that pride as well. It is bittersweet that, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna come to an end, but we look for the next challenge and we're gonna make another legend. There's, there's all kinds, so uh, we do post them up here, right? And then we have some posted over there and I uh, just wanted to make sure this morning. Oh, that, uh, there he is. Yeah, there's the, the picture and the car from the <laughs> service, right? You know, so. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. And this is always here? It's always here. Oh. Yeah, that's always here. Right, so it's been there from day one. Right, from the, from Here's my dad. Day. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you for showing me that. Oh, no, you're welcome. This is Rahal. He worked on the same line, actually the same station across from my dad. They were both team leaders here on the door line. It's amazing to get the chance to talk to you and see the place where you and my dad worked. Like this exact area is where he worked. Yeah. Okay, when he became a team leader, he did all these jobs belong. I was on this side, he, he was on the other side. All right. So, if you have the identical job, but on the other side of each other. And then, so how that worked was, if there was a problem somewhere on the door line, they would buzz you or yeah. dad, and you would yeah. go and fix it, right? Yeah, fix it on final or on the patio. Right. If you have a repair patio, we can fix it there. Okay. It's tough work, but it's a good living, isn't it? I send my kids, all my kids to school, the graduate. Two are married. Wow. Everybody's happy. They all got their houses and everything. So dad is working here. Yeah. <laughs> if he was here right now, what would you say to him? Uh, the, I would give him a big hug if yeah. I ever met. <laughs> I think I see it. Do you? It's got the lights on. I think so what? Oh! <laughs> 
Who picked that? This thing looks incredible. I, the, the red seats, the red belts, see that? Red dials, got the badges in here. It looks so cool. This, this color is better than I thought it was gonna be. This is a, a color only being put on this car this year. It's called Plum Crazy. Uh, it's a little bit of a brighter purple than they usually get on these cars and it, it looks just awesome. I'm so thrilled. I can't wait to drive it, but I'm not allowed to do that yet. I haven't sat in a Charger or a Challenger or a 300 since my dad died. I haven't touched one since my dad died. I definitely haven't driven one since then because when he passed, I said I was never gonna get into one of these cars that I knew for certainty had not been touched by his hands. And so, sorry. It's only the fact that these cars are coming to an end that would bring me to be able to do this. Um, but I'm st as I'm sitting here, I'm realizing that it, my dad's ha hands didn't touch this car, but <sighs> hundreds of other ones did. And those people are the, they are the auto industry. They really are. They're running all the colors on the line right now. And it looks like a pack of jelly beans running through the line. And so it's, it's just a sensory explosion in this place. It's, it's noise, it's color, it's, it's activity. And so being a, in the middle of all of that and remembering the livelihoods that people make in this place over years and decades and sort of bringing that magnitude down to sitting in this one car is incredibly special. So I've gone from sort of jumping up and down giddy to feeling like, whoa this is this is 30 years plus of history that i'm sitting in in this moment and it's about to come to an end it's pretty poignant there it is <laughs> So? It's so cool. <laughs> How was it driving up the line? Uh, not loud enough. We'll fix that later. <laughs> well, here I am on my way to go see the car for the first time. And I'm really like I'm buzzing with excitement. Obviously, I saw the car at Brampton Assembly and it was put together and turned on, but not all the way. It was in plant mode. So today I get to see all the colors and stickers and everything in combination for the first time. And I'm really, really excited. I'm still not sure whether sitting down in this car and hitting that button for the first time is going to just fill me with joy and elation or if the fact that I haven't done it in six years is going to hit me like a ton of brakes. We'll see. Give it a kick. Big kicks. It looks just as good as it did in the plant. Uh, every, with, it was easy to picture how it was gonna look with once all the plastic and everything was off it and it's perfect. I love it.
here we go. Let's see if I can handle this thing. car at all before every time I bought a new car it's been off the lot so that was an incredibly special process to go through and made even more special by the fact that I was able to pay tribute to my dad and to the workers at Brampton Assembly and to this age of the muscle car in the way that I was. I'm so grateful to everyone at Stellantis in Canada and everyone at Brampton Assembly who played a part in making this happen. This small way of wrapping up 30 years of history meant an enormous amount to me. This was an opportunity of a lifetime and I'm so grateful to have been a part of it. This is something that I will never forget and it's as memorable to me as these cars will be to the many, many people who have had the chance to drive them and own them over the years. Yeah.